All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to create what we call a custom audience. So a custom audience is a super fancy way of saying a warm audience. So someone that has engaged with you in some shape or form. Maybe they visited your website. Maybe they watched a video. Maybe they're, they're fans of yours on your Facebook page. At some level, they've interacted with you. So they're not totally, totally cold. They're slightly warm. And there's obviously various degrees of warmth right through from someone buying from you. That's a, a custom audience as well. So there's a couple different ways or different options that we have when we create these. I'm under the audience tab right now inside of an ad account. So you access that top left hand corner and just click on audiences under assets. And you'll see here, this is a dummy ad account. We've got three uh, audiences set up. Obviously there's no traffic in this account, so none of them are big or have any data on it. But you'll see here, it says underneath website, app, and if we had a lot more under here, you would see engagement or customer database as well. So you can create a custom audience based on people that triggered the pixel. So that would be a website custom audience. So someone that triggered a standard event or a custom conversion, or they visited a specific landing page on your site, et cetera, et cetera. You can create a custom audience of people in your email list, in your database, and you can create custom audiences of people that engaged with your, your page or any of your content. And obviously you've got apps as well. So let's take a look. We're going to go and click create audience and we're going to click on create custom audience. And you'll see here the different options and there's some new ones as well. So I'm not going to go into offline activity or app installs. I'm quickly going to take you into engagement as well as the customer one. And then we'll look at the website one. So in the engagement, you have the option to retarget video viewers. So if we quickly go in here, uh, usually we do 10 seconds depending on the length and then you'll choose the video, the amount of days that you want to retarget with. If you're doing retargeting stacks or evergreen campaigns that will dictate how long you pick for that. You can retarget lead forms. So when you create a lead ad, you can retarget people that opened the lead ad or com completed the lead ad. You can create a custom audience that you can exclude people that completed a lead form from seeing your ad again. You can retarget canvas ads. This is also collection ad format as well. Your Facebook page fans, your Instagram business profile. This one is brand new, so that's quite cool. And then events. So when you create events on Facebook. Now, what you'll see here is under Facebook page, you have the option to go people who engaged with any post or ad. So if you were wanting to retarget or create a custom audience of people that have engaged with all the content that you've been putting out there, that's the one that you would choose. Now, annoyingly, you cannot retarget specific Facebook posts unless they are a video or a slideshow ad in which case this was, would be what you would choose. So that's basically a little bit about the engagement custom audiences. Let's have a look at the customer file. So this one's pretty easy. This is uh, basically your email list. And if you're using MailChimp, which I don't recommend you use MailChimp, but that's another story, you can actually integrate MailChimp straight into that. Otherwise, you can go in here and pretty much copy and paste your list or import the CSV. Normally Facebook will match about 70% of it because remember sometimes people's personal Facebook profiles have like different email addresses. So the match rates are not always 100%. So just be aware of that. So again, if you were looking to target your email list with ads or even exclude your email list from seeing specific ads, that's how you would create that custom audience. And then the one that you're probably going to use the most is website custom audiences. So website traffic. And you can basically choose to target anyone. So wherever your base pixel, this pixel here, is placed, any page out there and that has the base pixel, you can retarget all of those people. Or you could select 
based on events. So these are standard events. And um, if you had custom conversions, they would show up here. Or you can select specific pages as well. So you could put the, the parameter here. Now, one of the really cool things here is let's go lead or let's say it said purchase. You could go, this is, this is getting a bit refi uh, refined, a bit advanced, so I don't want to freak you out too much. But this is so cool. Check this out. You go refine frequency. So now we're basically telling Facebook we want to create an audience of people that have triggered the lead event more than two times in the last 30 days. So let's say you had purchase here because that doesn't make much sense. But let's say you said we want to retarget, we want to create a custom audience of people that have bought more than twice from us in the last 180 days because we know they're super warm customers. So we're going to give them a special offer and try to reactivate them. So that one's pretty cool as well. So those are custom audiences. You go in here so that you can retarget people or so that you can exclude them from your campaigns.